have our gorgeous mom, mm -hmm. lunatic mom, and Good we have morning. me, the wonderful Froggy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so how have you been? Well, busy, always busy. Always busy, and yet never have enough time in the world to do no, everything you need. Never. <laughs> it's just, uh, sometimes it's frustrating. Sometimes the frustration builds up that, you know, what you feel in your head that it's a right thing to do, it's not going your way because everybody's doing whatever the hell they want to. Did, did you hear Lunatic Dad? No. My door opened up, right? Literally mm -hmm. by itself opened up. I'm talking to Dad here. I throw my headset, swing back, shut it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he goes, God damn, you brought something back with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. sometimes it happens, but if you didn't close it properly, it was little wind, then it pushes yeah, out. It's really windy outside. Yeah. yeah, that's what it's here right now. So, they always think that, that somebody always goes in here and everything else. Sometimes, yes, it is not explainable what happens, but most of the time it's by their doing. Right. They didn't shut the door properly. It's like. Uh-huh. So how you been? I have been doing good. We went to Goatman Bridge. That was fun. Oh, okay. Um, I overdid myself, as always. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. They, everybody said Froggy couldn't, Froggy did. I ended up, uh, I think you were around when I called Dad and sat on the phone with him for a half an hour because I was just overheated. I was hot. Oh, okay. And I tried explaining to him that fluffier people get hotter faster because we have so much insulation. No, it's like because it is heavier, so your heart is pumping faster. Yep. So then your body has to. Yep. Oh, I but know. I just not say, everybody just thinks that way. <laughs> I just say that we. Uh, it's because we have so much fat that it's starting to cook. <laughs> That would be nice. <laughs> no, if it would, you know, drip out of us instead of stay on us. Right, which is that would be fabulous to disappear like that. And I'm like, that would in, be in nice. In that case, sometimes. I will live in. I will go freaking walk a million miles. No. I don't even. I don't even know. Like sometimes, you know, they say, like, especially when I. Think about it. My, my doctor is like, oh, if you drink water, if you walk. I always walk because I have to do a lot of shit. Right. So before it, like some people, like when I wake up at like five in the morning till by 10, 10, 30, maybe I already have like thousand steps on my phone. People sometimes have it for a day. So I do walk, I do drink water because I don't like any other drinks or anything because for me, they don't taste good, number one, and they are not so good. So everybody thinks, oh, this is good, this is good. No, no water. water. H2O. So, and I'm like, okay, so how is it that you're going to all tell me that, oh, well, you have to drink water and you have to walk to lose weight? That shit ain't going nowhere. Exactly. So it's just so frustrating sometimes when people judge how people should be and where and how and how fast they should do things and everything else. Well, and everybody's metabolism is totally different. Now you but also health is a factor. Right. So health and the prescriptions that you take is a factor. That's why I don't take prescriptions. Well, sometimes, yeah, like like people, sometimes the prescriptions that you're able to control it from outside of prescription things, that is okay. But sometimes you have to take a prescription because you have to substitute something that is not in your body. Right. So that, that's a different thing. But again, it's like that is affecting your ability to lose weight. Exactly. So I, I, what part are people not understanding? I feel you, Bob, like with 
uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome, it's really mm -hmm. hard to lose weight. It is. It now is. you add on top of that fibromyalgia. Yep. Then you add on top of that arthritis throughout mm -hmm. most of the lower extremities in your body. Yes. Then you add on top of that a heart condition that has put people in the hospital, if not killed them, within 30 minutes. Right. Me going out and walking two miles a day is not going to happen. Right, which is, that's what I'm saying. Like, see, my arthritis, because well, I bought a treadmill, because I'm like, my husband's like, oh, maybe we can buy a treadmill so you don't have to go outside, because I'm scared to go outside to walk by myself, because due to my knees and ankles sometimes give out due to, due to arthritis. Yep. I'm scared that I'm going to fall and who's going to help me. I'm going to lay there and then what? Exactly. So I did get a treadmill and I do walk. But again, when I do walk on a treadmill, because like, you know, you have a steady pace, I have a problem breathing because my lungs are bad. So I supposed to take my inhalers and everything else. So again, that restricts me to walk longer. So I can win for losing. Right. And I have horrible lungs. I smoke and I have smoked for years. So I have horrible lungs. Yeah, see, I don't smoke. I never smoked. I have been around smokers since I was born. Right. But secondhand smoke can cause yeah, all the same Yeah, but issues. I think my lungs are damaged due to that when I was almost died from carbon monoxide, my lungs oh, were yeah. damaged. And I had never seek any help from any doctors because they couldn't get to us. Me and my sister almost died. And we had like six feet of snow, so they couldn't even send a helicopter because there was very high winds and everything. Nothing. So we just survived. So that my lungs are damaged for that. And then I had blood clots that my lungs are damaged. And I have an asthma. So there. And, and, and your lungs are damaged and they're like, hey, homie, we're not going to mm -hmm. fucking walk. Now, see, I yeah. do have asthma, but because of all the meditation that I do, mm -hmm. when I start getting to the point where I'm going, <sighs> I just start. <sighs> it can breathe, yeah. Which is, that's why I have to take my inhaler, but again... It's really like I'm allergic to 100 million medicines that sometimes I feel that it affects me a certain way. So I try to avoid it. I only take it when I really can breathe. Then I take my inhaler. But maybe if I should take it like regularly. But again, the like two weeks ago, I did take my inhaler like regularly for a couple of days. I broke up with hives on my arm. And I'm like, great. So now what am I going to do? So I stopped taking it. So that healed and I'm good. <laughs> but I think I should take it again because of this weather now. Everything is growing. The allergies are high so I can breathe. So I have to start taking it again. So I don't know what's going to happen again. <laughs> Should we just put you in a plastic bubble that's literally well, died of that's oxygen what, on it? Uh, yeah, that's what pretty much I think that my kids making fun of me because in the back of our yard and uh, from the neighbor's side, there is a poison ivy that is growing. And one year I had a very bad reaction. I didn't go and touch it, nothing. I was just in a yard and breeding. So from inside out, I was all covered in blisters. I end up in a hospital because I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't breathe. So they were like, well, what did you do? What did you touch? What did you eat? What are you allergic to? And this and that. Okay, you have all of it in there written. And I didn't eat nothing. I didn't touch nothing. I was only in my yard. Well, is there any possible that it's been like you've been exposed to a poison ivy? I said, there is growing on the back of the neighbor's yard. There is poison ivy growing. Well, you cannot even go near three feet to it because when you breathe it goes straight to your lungs and it's from inside out that your reaction is right so i cannot even go in my backyard oh, so that pool that you have is 
pretty much worthless for you. Yeah, it's kind of because like only I go usually if I go in a pool, it has to be very nice outside, no wind, no nothing. So it would blow anything towards me. And then so I go in a I'm pool. what I'm hearing is lunatic dad needs to get you a house with an indoor pool. Uh, that would be fabulous. And I tried to tell, I tried to tell him, I said, why don't we research that we can go somewhere in a warm, a warm environment? Because my joints, eventually, they're going to start locking up and I can walk. I can do nothing. Right. So if we would go in a warmer climate somewhere and everything else, so maybe we would have something that we would have an in-ground pool and then cover it, like, you know, to have the covered up. <laughs> so well, okay, so, like, Roy's sister has a pool like your guys is in. All the way up until December, you could go swimming. And then, like, we were just out at Goldman Bridge. Now, remember, it's April. We were just out at Goldman's Bridge Friday. People were out there swimming. Oh, my God. It's April. It's freezing outside. <laughs> It is 75 degrees outside. Well, but still, for me, it's cold. I have to have at least 85 to 90 degrees weather. Then I'm so good. So, in other words, you need further down south because they can get not too far down. Like Yeah, but I can go in a place that it's humidity because that's when I can breed. Right. So, I have what... to go in a dry air. So New Mexico, it's dry. Yeah. That's what, that's the only thing that I've been thinking because I've been kind of researching it, yeah. and I have researched that you know like the climate, like you know the New Mexico is the medium between all that that it's not too humid and it's not too dry, but it's and it's not too hot, not too cold. So it would be it would be great for me. That's only like a seven hour drive for me. I could yeah, literally but... come visit you and be like. Hi, mom. Uh, here I am. Do yeah. our show today. <laughs> uh, we could do our show today. Uh, we yeah. could do our show live and in person. Mm -hmm. But that's why my husband doesn't want to move out of here. So we stuck. Well, I didn't want to live in Iowa anymore because every winter I was literally in agonizing pain. So I told Roy, well, yeah. we have one or two choices. Either we move or he gets to listen to a bitch. Guess what? Yeah. We're in Texas. Why are we in Texas? Uh, he says it's for his family. I okay. say it's for his family, but also because at the end of the day, where we're at in Texas, it's not too humid. It's not too hot. It's not right, too Right, which is, yeah. It's perfect. Now, we get like a week, maybe two, of 20, 30 degree weather at night. Yeah, but I'm saying like that you that's bearable, you know, because well, I come home from a negative 40 weather in the winter. Now, why? <laughs> You're so like I'm negative okay. 40. I'm sitting here at 20 going, <laughs> yeah, I'm cold. So I don't I'm know okay why with I'm cold. It. I'm used to this, but no, I and I have poor blood circulation, so I'm always cold. So, yes, I like warm weather but again when it's humid i can breathe because my asthma so it's like sucks i always i'm stuck in a house right and my mom has multiple sclerosis so literally she went all the way down to down 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 texas and then she can't you know she was here and she wasn't in as much pain while she was in greenville and she wasn't in as much pain like only when there was a thunderstorm right she went down to texas and or down to like the far end of texas near mexico mm -hmm. and the pressure on her body was just too much she right which is pain almost every day and yeah. now she's back up near new boston texas and we're in the rainy season, so of course she's going to have a headache. Right, which is the spring, so yes, but everywhere. And even, I'm aware of that. But Even with her multiple sclerosis, it's not that bad. She's out there enjoying it. She's out there walking her cat because mm -hmm. she's not in as much pain. Right. 
which is that's why I don't mind because like I like to do things. I like to walk around. I like to like if I had a choice to walk everywhere, I would go and walk everywhere. I wouldn't drive. But uh, we live in a place that we have to drive because I cannot get to a grocery store. I cannot walk that far with stuff because then I can breed. Right. So it's just it's really hard for me to kind of do it, but you know, just like have to make I'm a living. At, like two blocks up the road is like a convenience store, right? Oh, okay, that would be not bad. And then you have the hardware store right next to the convenience oh, store. See? And then like about half a mile is a Dollar General. Yeah, so there's a little bit more. Anything else after? Oh, and a church. Yeah, there is a church, the library. I mean, that's all within like half a mile to uh, three, a quarter, three fourths of a mile away from my house. But right. now, if you want to go to Walmart or anything, right? Along that, those I lines, understand you because you have to travel. Car, you're not going to yeah. make a big trip. No, but I'm saying like I just a regular daily thing. Like you know, if I need something, oh, I'm going to run to the store. All oh, this, all oh, that. Right. Like like in Chicago when we lived in Chicago, yeah, it was better, but it was scary. But it was better because on every corner there was a little store or something, so you can walk to it. So I like that. I really like that because I walked everywhere. Exactly. So, but in here, it's like not really so good. Smack whoever's behind you. Get away. He's going to make you smack him. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. Ow. Did you see those? Um, there's two of them in the freezer. They're like. Dinners, meal dinners. I don't know. Somebody, yeah, I just throw that in a box in the garbage. Oh, I don't know. I don't care. So, which son? Matthew. I figured that was bad. I'm getting to learn them. Yeah. No. So, get your ass out of here. Nobody wants to see your naked ass. Great, so <laughs> keep on moving. I'm a gummy bear. I'm a gummy bear. That's actually yeah. Uh, you gotta love kids. My kids, came, <sighs> my son came in here and he's like, "Did you let one of the dogs out?" I'm like, "No." Casper tried letting himself in. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness! But yeah, if like. Something if that door ain't shut properly, it opens by itself. Right. No, that's why I always tell them too in here because our front door, like you have to make sure you pull it so it latches because if you just feel that it's gonna shut, no. And then the wind pushes away. That's how our dogs one time got out and everything else. And my little kitty that was already 10 years ago, 11 years ago, when my little kitty got out with the dogs and I never find him and he's gone. Aww. Yeah, so that's why for Mother's Day 10 years ago, my little trouble is going to be 10 on Mother's Day when Lawrence gave it to me like she was that little itty bitty little kitty. <laughs> so what are your kids planning on doing for you for Mother's Day? Oh, I don't want nothing because then they want something from me. <laughs> it's Mother's Day. You're supposed to get things because it's no. Mother's Day. See, I told them, I believe that to me, Mother's Day is every day. Respect me, help me with stuff, and be reasonable to your own selves. That's my Mother's Day. Not one day, because one day it's like a forcible thing. Oh, it's a Mother's Day. I have to do this. No, 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 no. You have to want to, and you have to know the meaning behind it. Why would you do that? Right. So. Exactly. 100%. I agree with you. I normally never get anything on Mother's Day or my birthday, like, at all. Normally, I order my own stuff because <laughs> I'm that type of person. Um. But last year, Royce's 
surprised me. He went to the store and he got me a little Mother's Day basket with candy and a balloon. Oh, it's so nice. That's so nice. No, I mean, like I said, I do appreciate it when they do that because sometimes, you know, when I wake up and then come downstairs, then they have breakfast done and they have flowers, they have some stuff and they have gifts for me or whatever. They do do that. But I told them, I said, and I do appreciate it because it makes me feel good, but I would want them to remember mother's day should be every day you should be respectful you should be understanding and you should be helpful and that's what i care about not for one day because to me it feels like it's a forceful thing oh because it's a mother's day i have to do this right. no you don't have to you don't have to exactly. i want you to be respectful all year around and i want you to understand what i'm coming from even every day hey good morning mom that would make me feel good Instead of you ask something, oh, let me wake up. No, oh, you don't get my to wake God. Up. Shut up and go to bed. <laughs> I'm like, listen, people, I don't understand. And maybe that is selfish of me thinking that way. But I don't understand. To me, waking up means soon as you open your eyes and you step your feet on the floor, you should be ready for the world. Not that you come down or you do something and then you bitch shit about it. Just leave me alone. I, I don't want to deal with life right now. I'm not awake yet. Well, Pan, you speaking and you are walking, then you awake. All right. Get you just find excuses. You get out of bed. Yeah. Well, you just find excuses not to be asked a question or ask for something, which means give leave me alone. Let me wake up. Give me an hour. So really? the next time they said give me an hour, you'd be like, and you're just sitting there and it's towards the end of the day because I know that's when the pain hits the worst. And they're like, Mom, I need this. Give me an hour. I'm in pain. Leave me alone. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> that's why sometimes when, like, when I text my children, not all of them, but most of them, and they don't respond to me. So I'm like, okay. I know you freaking shitheads have a phone right to your face. Right. And you're not going to respond to me. Great. I don't care. So then when they text me and I don't respond, and then they're running, hey, hey, did you get my text? No. <laughs> Why well, I texted you? Well, how does it feel to be ignored? <laughs> fucking yes. No, because it just pisses me off. Like, you know, Pay you're trying, you're trying. and of the cord. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. It's okay for you not to feel importance of it, what I'm texting you. And even if you would respond, I will talk to you later or something, or I'm doing whatever, or I, I can't text right now or something. Say something. All right. But don't ignore my freaking ass and then running to me. Oh, you, did you get my text? Did you get my text? Did you get, I text you. I, or when I don't answer that text, then they call. When I don't answer the call, they text. And I, and back and forth, back and forth. And then finally, they in person, right in front of my face. I called you. I texted you. Oh, how does it feel? I feel fabulous because I didn't have to respond like the way you people think of me. Exactly. Like, Kobe, we don't have to respond to you. We do it because yeah. we love you. Yeah. My ADHD brain, if I'm doing something and, like, my daughter texts through or Roy texts through or somebody texts through, I'll be like, oh, okay, and I'll put my phone down and then I'm going to bed and my brain goes, hey, did you text this person back? And I'm, like, going through all my texts. I'm like, oh, shit, sorry, ADHD. Yeah. No, no, it's an understandable because sometimes I do, like, you know, my daughter sometimes when she's at work and usually she texts me or calls me on her break on lunch. And she's like, mom, I only got 30 minutes and, I'm, and I need to talk to somebody. I'm like, okay. But sometimes I don't like, you know, when I'm doing something and for whatever reason, because my phone is about 10 years old that I – Really need to get myself a better phone. Maybe piss so, dad. Hold on, hold on. I got the perfect way you can get a brand new phone. Piss dad off and oh no no. Phone for his. no 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 because see I have so much stuff on my phone that I would like to get it off of it <laughs> and if they're gonna break it I can do none of it. <laughs> okay okay okay. Just yeah no. Dad, you're going to get a new phone. You're going to get an upgrade. Yeah get I you can a, get you a it. new phone. 
And then when you're done getting your new phone and getting everything transferred over, then dad can break it. Oh, no, no. I still like my phone. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need to break shit. There was too oh, much I know. I, I seen your reaction to the washer. I'm like, no, I, I make Kyle ass. pay for that bitch. <laughs> no, that like, don't worry about it, mom. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'm like, what do you people think? Yes, our washing machine was old, and yes, sometimes when you put a little bit bigger load, it would rinse it out. Right. Which... So yeah, he got pissed off and everything else because I need my laundry. Good for you. There's a laundromat down the street, so go pay twenty dollars for it. Exactly. Because I told you people how to use this machine if you want something done. You have to put little loads and that would do it because the machine weights the load and that's how much water should give. But because it was old and all the springs or whatever shit that yeah. it's doing, it wasn't reading out properly. So that was given too much water. And then when it came to spinning, it didn't rinse the whole thing out. Right. So I'm Which, like, whatever. Literally having somebody come out and recalibrate everything. Right. And I said, I'm going to try to call someone, like, you know, because I've seen it actually in an area on our Facebook that there is a person that does, like, you know, washing machine, like a little fixing things, like, you know, dryer or whatever stuff, and like dishwasher or stove or something. Like they have these, like, these new things that, that they just need, like, a little chip or something that you just change. Right. or whatever so i'm like i was ready to ask you know how much you know like to give me estimate how much would it cost me to fix it if it would be too much then yes i was ready to buy a new one but no because they have to be freaking as angry asses <laughs> you they can think just, that you can just see the annoyance in your face i'm as telling you i told dad i straight up told dad Kyle is a fucking mini him. Yeah, both of them the same. But see, when I tell them that, that the both of them are the same, oh, no, 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 we nothing like it. Uh, oh, really? Have you looked at said, yourself in the mirror? That's why I said, that's why the compilation Like Father, Like Son came out. Yeah, no, I mean, and I constantly trying hard. to step in their freaking asses, and I'm trying to constantly ain't fixing nothing. It's not going to solve a problem. Why are you freaking people doing Because I'm angry. So how is it going to fix a problem? When you're angry, you're going to break shit, and now you got to spend money to replace it. How did it fix the problem? It oh, didn't. It did. The only thing you did was take more money out of your bank account. Yeah. And and spending for stupidity, because you people don't comprehend right there. Don't worry, mom. I'm gonna leave a bunch of laptops up there. <laughs> that way, every time they get mad, they could just grab one of the laptops. Oh, no, no, no! Oh my them. God, I would die of a freaking heart attack. Oh no, they don't work anyways. <laughs> They're old. We don't oh, use them. Oh my God! We have literally 38 laptops we don't use. Oh my god. Because instead of breaking them to get new things, and I swear that's what the both of those boys' motto is. If I break it, we'll get a new one. Right. And that's what is uh, I constantly oh okay, well I'm gonna break this shit and I'll get a new one. Don't you dare touch my shit because I'm gonna be <laughs> curious. It's fine when it's their own stuff because that's their own stuff. Okay, that's why I said no, no. When they break their shit and I'm like, now I'm going to take my time to replace it because you people should have thought about it. Right. One but... time I was like on my laptop and it kind of got slow. And Kyle was like, because I was looking for something for him. And he's like, what the hell? Why is it taking so long? Why is it? I said, patience. Why isn't it working? Because my computer is 12 years old. That's why it's not working. And it's got too much shit because everybody's using it. Everybody's downloading things and everybody this and everybody that. And yes, it is not updating anymore because they usually last only, I think, like eight years that they kind of update to then and then they right. come up with stupid new shit. So then they kind of force you to do it. But I don't like to do that because if it's still working and I'm patient now. So then he's grabbing my shit and then he's going to throw it against the wall. I said, no, I'm going to throw your ass against the wall. Did he learn not to touch your shit? No, they not touching my shit. They cannot even sit in my chair. 
Because I told him, I said, touch my crap, I'm going to knock your little ass out till next Thursday. <laughs> you tell him, mama. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm just so done with it. Uh, I, I, I swear Roy and Jordan are two tempers alike. And there's days I'm running up there like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, because you... they get in an argument, my dogs start fighting. Right, because that's how that's how our dogs are. As soon as there is a loudness or anything called you know chaos in the thing, then the dogs start riling up and everything else because they think that something's happening. And I'm like, no, you people are not gonna get my dogs going at it. Now you're gonna get your ass beaten. <laughs> you know how many times we're just sitting there waiting for you to come up, walk behind dad, and just smack them upside the head. <laughs> You know, many times I actually want to, but I'm like, no, because then everybody's saying, because one time I actually have seen a comment on one of their videos that the, something was broken, that they broke and they were arguing about it and yelling, screaming at each other's faces. And somebody made a comment that I'm worse than they are because I don't help the situation. I'm like, you freaking shithead. What do you know? Oh, what what, I help what a situation. are you supposed to do? Fucking jump right. in between them? They have fucking and, hammers and shit. You're yeah. Just and to, it's, uh, right. Now listen to me, son. You yeah. need to calm down. Or listen to me, and husband. I'm like, you need you to calm down. Be we can't be me. doing this. Yeah. You know what's going to happen? They're going to throw the hammer at you. I mean, they never <laughs> would. But... Oh, no. but you never know in a situation like one time. I don't know what the what they were arguing about that they were, oh, I think it was Kyle's laptop or, or something that they were going like a tug of war or whatever. And then Look my husband, dad's laptop. I think something. And then he started smacking that thing with the hammer. All these pieces are flying. I don't need to get hit. Lunatic dad's laptop. That's what it was. Because I remember Lunatic Dad was trying to stop Kyle with all his strength and Kyle's just rage mode. Yeah, and there all these pieces no flying around. And what am I going to do? You know, what am I supposed to do? And these freaking ass people don't understand. You don't go in the middle of something that you're going to get hurt. I'm not that stupid. Exactly. I wonder to that point, it is not 100% not this smartest bet to walk in the middle of it no because if it's a, just an argument after you. yeah if it's just an argument i do step in it and i do separate them or whatever they do because that much i tell them i said you touch it and you have you touch me you all did so right. they know that when i step in it and i separate them then they don't do nothing exactly but when, and i don't think either one of them would honestly no. hurt you on purpose no they, they wouldn't but, no they wouldn't if you're to the point, you're just fucking raging. And I yeah. was one of those people that I would rage. I would smash shit. I would hit shit. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, I used to have a fr fridge that had the dent of my knuckles in it. Because yeah. I just, bam! Right? Yeah, that's and what I'm saying. Like, So that's what scares like, me when they're breaking things. Because I'm scared that I'm going to get hit either with one of those pieces that they're flying off. Right. Or they're going to fling that thing and i'm standing behind it they don't know if i'm there then they can hit me exactly. so i stay so away the best bet is literally until oh, they start away. raging try to calm them down mm -hmm. once they start raging you back up you yeah. let them do what they have to do to yeah. get that rage out because no, that's why many times, like one time again, I don't know what they were throwing. I think it was Kyle's either camera or something. And Matt was like, mom, mom, they throwing shit. They didn't, can you go tell them? I'm like, what the hell you freaking do? Because I was in my room, I wasn't feeling good. And I come down and I see the fr camera flying at the front door. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I'm not going to be in the middle of this because I still want to live. <laughs> so if they wanted to kill each other that way, then I guess that's the choice they're making. Exactly. Because Mama, I can do nothing. I love talking to you. But as we know, we only say it's live. Time. We only record yes. for about 30 minutes. Yes. So do you have any famous words for these people? 
Well, the only thing I have is to say thank you to whoever's watching, and I appreciate that, you know, support and everything. And no, I'm not a bad person, and I don't always yell and be mean to anybody because that's another comment that they Mama made is sometimes. Way too nice. And I'm trying to keep their asses away from each other. So, Mama, don't listen to those comments. You are an amazing woman. And for the two ragers you have in your group, I have no idea how the hell you deal with it. I would be smashing everybody's head. Oh, so. there is not only them two. There is another one. Lawrence. But it's not all recorded because if everything was recorded in here, that would be like, I don't know, a war in this house. So in other words, we need to get cameras secured. Cameras Everywhere. Everywhere. Like, uh, just so that way we can... No have to have cameras in the house and just like the sensor that you know like on a sensor Motion that is sensor. yeah so then it would record it because there is more than those two in here that they have rage <laughs> <laughs> all right i love you mama and i love everybody that is watching and i hope well, you guys understand you. that mama is an amazing woman and if i hear anybody talking negative about mama in my comments or theirs i will be getting involved because she is an amazing woman she understands that her husband and her children need to rage it is what it is let yeah, them sometimes, fucking rage it's worth yeah. it you get a good laugh let them be it's not fake it's there nobody's hitting anybody there's no physical yeah. abuse going on right right they just that's break what shit. yeah they just break shit so so we love you, and we hope you have an amazing day. Love you all. Bye. Well, thank you.